going on, everybody? Today's Friday. My wife had surgery today, so I've been home all day with her. Just we got home from the hospital about lunch, so she is resting right now. My daughter's with her, so I ran to the farm and grabbed the 5075 and the rake. We're gonna try to build hay tomorrow, and I need to replace the tines on this uh, rake if we're gonna build hay because they're bad. I got two two wheels, the center wheel on either side, of, are missing a pile of tines. So I bought some tines a couple weeks ago, and we're gonna try to knock them out today. So we'll run back to the house so I can be around her. She needs help with anything, so y'all stay tuned. Welcome to Strickland Farm. Alright, so what I'm doing, I got my little 3 8 compact, <clears throat> maybe a sub compact, I don't know, impact, taking the nuts off, I'm going to take the whole wheel off, that way I can work on it. I found out these wheels are really hard to work on, on the rake. So we're going to work on it on the ground. All right, that wheel is finished. I replaced 10 fingers on this wheel, and that was a job. So now I gotta put that wheel back on here, and then I'll take the other side off. Same, same wheel on the other side, got a bunch of broke ones. So I'll do it. I tried to work on it on my tailgate for a while, and that just didn't work, because I couldn't get my hand up under there. I put nuts on and stuff like that, and these things don't wanna stay in place. But I've learned now, this is a good spot. Got plenty of room to work right here, so. Now, time to get to putting it back on and take the other one off. Good morning, YouTube. It is Saturday morning. We're baling hay today. Me and William got an early start already working on the uh, baler. Just cutting some tine out of the header and just cleaning up some stuff, greasing. But mom just brought me and dropped me off to pick up my tractor because I got to use it to bale since daddy's is still in the shop. But I said, well, while I'm over here, I'm going to walk over here and check on the peanuts. Dude, look at that. Y'all just don't know how good that makes me feel. Hold on, I'll turn the camera around. Look at those rows. Which granted, they're not straight. I don't have GPS. But they all look good like they're up. I don't see hardly any skips anywhere. Which I was running out of seed, you know, down here and had to keep stopping. And it did great. Even my turnaround rows are up. I did eight turnaround rows. And, you know, we compacted this right through here especially a lot we're dr driving the truck and they came up man i'm so excited about this y'all probably tired of me saying that but look at that this is awesome i know what happened right there i sat the planter down and the wrong uh marker arm went down this side went down so i picked it back up set it back down so the right one would go down and i didn't back up so that was my fault. But man, they look good. I don't see 
just standing right here you know i'm not going across the whole field but i don't see any weed pressure yet which i didn't really expect because this field's never been farmed man spacing looks good i'm excited about this all right time to go bill hay i gotta quit standing here william wanted to rake but then his uh his cousins wanted to go swimming and he just he couldn't be left out I was hoping he would want to stay at rank, but it'll go faster since he's not here, but I enjoy uh, him doing this with me. So, we are, uh, this field shouldn't take long. This is 800 field. It just wasn't a lot of hay out here, so I don't figure we'd get three or four bales. But we'll see. We may get more, I don't know. So that tractor will run 20 miles an hour. And this one will run 26.9. So we are, we're probably gonna stay in a lower rank. Oh, hold on. He's also got a shift gears and I don't. It's an automatic system. Ah, now he's up speed. Jimbo. Oh, Jeremy. I'm catching him. Alright, I'm running 22 miles an hour. Still gaining on him a little bit. Let's slow down a little more. Bailing at the Edward place. That was bell number two. We probably won't get but four here. It's, it's almost five acres, this place. Maybe it's between four and five acres. There just ain't a lot here. Basically, just cleaning it up. I mean, they're, the hay's decent, there just wasn't much of it. So, but bell number two. It's, a, it's not an easy field, but it's not rough. It's decently smooth. Standing next to me, sing it, Taylor. I like this song. All right, we are done. Just leave it there. Um, we were done with all four of our small fields. So we ended up with 29 bales of hay off those four, off 20 acres. I'm not gonna complain. I'm proud of that. So now we can throw some fertilizer to it. Where's he going? I told him to leave the tractor there. Apparently he's gonna ride with me back to the house to get the truck so we start hauling it. He's gonna start hauling hay. I'm gonna go to a, I guess you could say. Hey, where do you do this little corner up there? Oops. Ain't nothing, you ain't get it. Nothing, hardly. No, just leave it. Why don't you just leave the tractor there? Why? Well, over there. Well, that's the truck that's right there. Come and leave the rake. It don't matter, just leave it all right there. Let's go. I gotta get over to Bobby's. Alright, all right, so I'm headed to a distant cousin. I don't know, about six or eight miles away. Um, he's already cut his hay. He's got a tractor sitting there with a rake on it. He just wants me to come bail it. So I'm going to run by the farm and fill up with diesel fuel and then light out. Dad's going to move hay. Y'all stay tuned. All right, you two, let me bring y'all up to speed. I have the 6110 
on the trailer. Just went and picked it up from the shop. It's ready. Um, I took the 6120 and dropped it off because I started having steering problems while I was building hay today. Like I, I felt like I didn't have power steering, like I was losing fluid. But uh, all the hydraulics work on it, the loader works, the hydraulics to the baler work fine, no problem. And I could turn the tractor off, turn it back on, and I had hydraulics. So I talked to Chris, the mechanic, and he said, that sounds weird, bring it to me, let me check it out. So since Daddy's was ready, I took mine down there, dropped it off, picked up Daddy's, and now I'm headed to the field. The next field I'm going to, because it's a long drive from the farm, I'm just gonna go ahead and haul the tractor over there, drop it off, and then go home and get the baler and bring it back, And which it's already 7:12. so by the time I get home, it'll be eight o'clock. So we just wait and start building tomorrow afternoon after church. So let's go wrap the day up. Appreciate y'all clicking on the video. If you would, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment. Had some great comments here lately, good conversations with some other farmers. I appreciate that, that's awesome. So, but go ahead and subscribe if you have not subscribed. Thanks for watching.